What's up, buddy? Subdenbeg here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is the Trollcraft series, I think, episode 5. So, I know I haven't done an episode of this in so long, and it's because so much has happened. Fractured arm, fractured leg. That, that video is coming soon. I already put a video of dislocated kneecap and whatever. But, it turns out it's worse. I wasn't able to do a video today about that because so much happens. And, yeah, so today, there's so much I did in between episodes. I can't even really do anything to today. So, basically, today, it's going to be hopefully short. Probably not because it's going to take forever. But, we're going to be doing some... I'm going to explain what has happened in between episodes, which is like, I'll basically explain what I did for like so long. So, first of all, happy Halloween everyone. I decorated. I also kicked out, kicked Funny Razy, Fuzzy Rainy Tiger from the, from my house because she was getting a little bit annoying and now she lives over there I'll get to that now I have a news board talking about some news but I'm basically the news in this video so we're we go into super express um, someone put some rails in here I think I did and forgot to take them but <laughs> yeah so there's prices prices have been lowered so if you go to if, if you're on this realm or you want to or if you're going to be on the realm then you can look at the prices and they'll be cheaper than they were so you'll get a better deal they used to be really expensive I would say so someone stole like half a full chest of my cobblestone I don't know who but I'm gonna find out hopefully um I got a new horse called I don't know who this I don't know how he got here, but I named the new one Lucky. Tristan is missing forever. I have a missing Tristan thing. I need to have, like, somewhere where I can put missings for things. Then we got a snow golem. Someone blew up my this house and um, killed Jeffrey the snow golem. So we have a new one named Josh and some cows back there. So... Reason one reason I lowered the prices from Super Express is because there are two new um, businesses that are trying to compete with me, and I need to get more. They're taking my customers. Today was actually there was a challenge where um, Son of Aaron's thing and I did. We would have to get a certain amount of items from. Um, Midnight Shade MC. But anyway, um, a lot of things have happened to Super Express. First thing, limited time Halloween banners. These are the only ones that I have out. Someone, I, um, Son of Aaron says that Hijacker number two bought the banner that was here, but I have not found a single price from Hijacker number two, so I'm just gonna call it stolen. I don't know why I didn't take it back. I'll just once hijacker number two comes back, I'll ask him where he paid, and then yeah. So so I have a banner shop thing, so you can buy banners. There are thirty gold nuggets each. Um, Son of Aaron, we're gonna go to Son of Aaron's new house. You you probably saw it in the skit that I actually uploaded today. This video is gonna probably come out in like a week or so so I'm uploading this video I mean I'm recording this video the same day that I uploaded the git video which was pretty weird this so this is the banner that was over there um this is Son of Aaron's very interesting house I don't really he tried to make it kinda into the mountain or something it looks pretty cool but there isn't much homely and his shop called Vikings Emporium. 
He has a bunch of stuff. And he's our no nuggets for it. And so does Hijacker number T's shop, which hasn't really opened yet. And so already, he hasn't been getting that many um, customers, but he's... The business at my shop is less, not that it was much before anyway. Um, and so the, I'm going to show you something that I added to Super Express for an upgrade. And if I had, it was actually, if people hadn't bought anything at my Super Express, this wouldn't have happened. Also, I have an auto chicken killer thing. So basically what happens is I upgraded this chicken farm thing. The chickens dispense eggs. They lay eggs. It goes into the chest and hopper. Goes into the hopper. Goes into this dispenser. If we go down here, there's, um, oh, I kind of covered the redstone. But there's a comparator that detects when something is in, when an egg has been laid, and then it's going to basically, um, dispense the egg and then once the, the chickens will basically be there once if the egg hatches one and then this dispenser will dispense lava um every update from a daylight sensor and yeah so that's how that works how did you get there go back in there hmm. um this is my sugarcane farm. It's doing pretty good also. Pretty good, actually. And we got some pumpkin farms and somehow some sugarcane got in there. So, something. So, for Super Express, for people that. Now I have a new system in Super Express for Super Express customers. So, if you are on this realm and you want to buy things no other thing has it but so only two people are qualified as super express customers midnight shade and fuzzy rainy tiger um basically that means that you get your own rail you don't have to leave your house to come order something at super express so a regular person that isn't customer or i mean they they are a customer if they buy something but they aren't like a member or something basically they would have to go to the super express store they would take something from here they would take a book and they write what they want they write their username and put it in the chest and they include the payment right there so that's a little bit annoying because you have to get out of your house and go to my house but with super express customers that buy a lot you get yourself your own railroad thing so basically what you would do is um, I'm just gonna follow this rail to midnight shade MC's house or she calls it a hotel doesn't look anything like one so I'm just gonna call it home I mean I'm sending the resources to her so to this location and so we're just going to go up here and any day now. And this, we have arrived at Midnight Shades home. So basically, we got a book and quill with basically, I she asked for an order or actually no. Yeah, and then I rejected it, so I sent her back her thing. But basically, let's say I'm Midnight Shade for a little bit. I want to be like, ooh, I want to buy something. I take the book and quill, I put in whatever, I get a payment, I pay it in, like that, and then I press the button, and it gets sent off. And then if we um, go over to there, you can see that now it is right here with all that stuff. And I can take that, and I'll send it back because... Yeah. So that's a pretty cool thing that I added for Super Express. So if you're. Yeah. Also, RJ Boss 2 is back, everyone. Well, 
And my recording ends right when the creeper explodes. Our creeper just exploded and my recording ends. RJ Boss 2, of course, like I said, is back. And thank goodness he didn't make his house in dirt. First, when he first joined this, like, a couple, maybe even yesterday, I think, he built his first house in dirt and then... Thankfully, he replaced it with wood. Looks much better. I'm gonna go in here. But, I'm trying to form bonds with RJ Boss 2 again. Because, well, I mean, he... I, okay, that's a lot of things. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna die now. Okay, that was a little bit frightening. There's a... Skeleton right outside, and I don't want to die. So, just gonna put some stuff in here. So, um, hijacker number two somehow found uh, guardians at his house since his house is underwater. I'll show you that in a second, but and then he gave me some of the remains. I don't know how he found these. Guardians, since Guardians only spawn around the uh, around ocean monuments, and also a little interesting thing is, Sonavaran gave everyone cheats. So basically, chaos has happened since then. People are cheating like crazy. I haven't cheated that much. I'm going to be honest. I did cheat a little bit sometimes, but that was like. Yeah, to fix things that were unfairly done. Um, yeah, so I might, I'm probably skipping out a lot of stuff. I'm just going to look around, see if I missed anything. Oh yeah, we're going to go to um, Fuzzy Rainy Tiger's place. I'm very lazy with this progression of this house. I'll start doing it soon, but... Yeah, I don't even think I should call this, I don't know if I'm going to call this series Trollcraft anymore because there's barely any trolling going on. I'm probably going to start the whole trolling thing at some point, but first let's just go to bed because we can skip the night and not die. Um, but yeah, today there isn't really going to be progress I might title this video either like progression made or something else um yeah I'm just gonna run past the skelly skelly tour and um yeah also someone built like there's a bunch of weird houses popping up I don't even know if I should call them houses they're kind of strange but there's this like wood shop thing. This is Fuzzy Rainy Tiger's house. And you can probably go inside and see that I have given her some banners. Um, and this is where Fuzzy Rainy Tiger can get her. Since she ordered 64 coal, I gave her that 64 coal. And yeah. Okay, so here's another thing I remember that I forgot to say. So this is like, it seems, it used to be more of a town and then Cinevarin kind of blew his house up and then started over there. But this is like Midnight Shade's other house or something. I'm so confused with everything. There's a interesting infinite water source. But this here is Hijacker number two's house. And there's a creepy Furby. There's nothing there. Great. But Hijacker number two's house is pretty cool. I'm just going to say. I mean, this front, this is the shop or something. It looks really cool. I like it. S yeah. So Hijacker number two, if you're watching this, good job with the thing. I really like this design thing. And you got all these things. I don't know where you're going to really sell or buy anything but yeah 
And then this is his living space, so a bunch of furnaces. Uh, got a wet sponge from stuff. He has some armor, and down here are some beds. And apparently he has like a pretty bad secret entrance thing with all his storage. So that's that. Um, hopefully I'll start getting used to making videos again. The whole incident that happened made me behind on them and hard to do things. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new and you like my content. Leave a comment, I'll reply to you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!